Hello, it's Jennifer Savari, and today I'll share how I made this layered hexagon card with little pieces in the back that kind of help tell the story of the card, which is, I miss you. And this pattern paper with the tiny little designs is so fun and nostalgic, and with that gray, it kind of brings in the whole happy memories, um, but sad for missing you. I used the Honey Bee layer A's, B, and C, the Sparkler layer A, B, C, and D, and then the Love and Miss You stamp set, all by Birch Press Design. For the card that I'm doing right now, I'm going to be using the Wild and Free. So this card's going to be a little bit different than the St. Tropez card that I made earlier. And I just went through my scraps and picked out pieces that I thought would make unique little hexagons and just cut out a whole bunch of them. I love how pieces that I normally wouldn't use can be used um, for a project like this. And I cut a whole bunch of different hexagons and it's so fun to see what, what comes out of them. Uh, that little face, which I'm not going to use on this card, but it could be used for like a vintage look or um, maybe even a Halloween card. I just temporarily adhered the frame from one of the cuts I made for the hexagons to kind of be the guide of where to put them. And so I just glued them in, focusing on kind of color um, to get that color balance, even though all the different designs came through, um, there still needed to be some sort of a color balance going on. So when I was done with that, I just went ahead and removed that temporary um, hexagon layer. And I realized I forgot one, which was an easy fix. I just put one in. And this would be neat to do with something too, just uh, leave off the outside frames. Um, there's a lot that can be done with the same basic idea. But I went ahead and glued all the uh, layers together for the hexagons. And I used, you know, just different colors here. I love how the layering dies. You can create so many different looks just with color. So I wanted to show um, something to keep in mind when you're making um, cards like this. Notice how the card on the left has all the different random patterns in it, but they're aligned horizontally and vertically. The, the card on the right has things going sideways. They've got things horizontally and vertically. And so when using small patterns like this, I personally think it looks better to have everything aligned. Um, now I do like this and it could be used in different ways, but I just wanted to point that out. The next step was to uh, create the focal point for the card and that was the layered butterfly. And I just simply glued the layers together and then I added some sparkles to the centers. The Pretty Pink Posh Jewels are my absolute favorite because in each set comes different sizes. And so I used the very small ones for the interior, the large ones for the exterior wings, and there's even a middle size that can be used for different things as well. And I just love how um, it sparkles and really pretty colors in there that match the background. And this could be uh, put on horizontally or vertically, depending on how you created your pattern um, from the beginning. So I wanted to show that too. I put a crease in the center of the butterfly so that the wings would set up just a little bit, and then I just glued it on. For this card, I decided to use the Thanks, the Sugar Script Thanks, and I love this font. It's easy to work with. I went over it with a shimmer pen, and then you'll see me go um, over it with some glossy accents at the end as well. Now one thing to keep in mind, I used a pretty lightweight base cardstock here. So with all those layers on the front, it kind of felt like the base of the card was, um, you know, I don't want to say flimsy, but it, it was flimsy compared to the rest of it. So I just glued a second sheet onto the back. No one will ever know it's there and it added some nice weight um, that really balanced out the card. The final step was simply adding some glossy accents to that sugar script, and because this is such a nice wide font, um, but yet still graceful and elegant, it just, it was easy to do and looks so beautiful. That, that sparkle from the shimmer pen comes through uh, the glossy accents. So thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a great day. See you again soon.